Hello everyone. This video will give you a short tour of the Ridgeview High Virtual Choir website. I'll show you how to navigate the site for updates, access your parts for practice, and lastly, how to submit your parts online. We'll start by heading over to virtual.ridgeviewchorus.com. Below the landing page slideshow is the button to come on in. This will take you to our news feed. You can get back here at any time by selecting the news and updates link. Here you can check in and see what's happening at any time. I will update this a couple times a week and notify you via the Google Classroom. Now if we head to the top, you can select audio parts, which will scroll you down to the rehearsal section of our site. Here you will see pictures of each part. Just click on yours to get the music. Hmm, I think soprano. You will see a link at the bottom if you have an older phone, which will take you to a new page where you can watch the score and listen, read the score, check out the lyrics, or just listen to the audio. Or if we go back, you can just access this pop-up module, which will give you access to the same items. The video is ready for you. The score will open in a new browser. as will the lyrics, and tracks, which will download at the bottom. I will show you how to record your track in another video. Let's look at how to submit. We just go to the top and select Submit Tracks. You will, of course, have your recording already done. You will fill in the form with your first name, last name, Select your part, and you can leave a message if you wish. Next, you will have to choose a file. It will let you browse your phone, iPad, or computer to get your file. Make sure you know where you saved it. It will need to be an MP3 or M4A. I talk about that in the recording video. Choose your file, open it. You will see it in this box right here then click on Submit Tracks. There are file size limits as well, so make sure you are under 3.5 megabytes. Once it gets to my virtual chorus server, it will be filtered and accepted or rejected. Hopefully you get the thumbs up. If not, you may get an error. Let me show you. I will upload a file that is too big. This one here is 4.6 megabytes, and it needs to be 3.5 or under. Uh-oh. If there's a problem, make any needed changes and try again. That's it. If you need help, reach out. 